Hello everyone, greetings of the day. In this video, I am going to walk you through regarding the BB Report Twix plugin. This plugin helps its users to have a proper enhancement for the data categorization and data customization, and also it helps its users to generate insightful reports for the plugins or for the modules of the fields which they require for. First, to understand the functionality of the plugin, we have to install the package which you have received from the store for that go to admin select module loader choose the file which you have already purchased from the store click on install accept click on commit once you install the package it will redirect you to the license key page where you have to Put the license key which you have received from the store and click on validate to proceed ahead. Then go to admin panel. Click repair. Then click repair and rebuild. Return back to the administration page. Now to understand its functionality, you have to create a proper report. Create a report. For this report, I have added the name as testing, assigned it to admin, and report module I have selected here leads. Now I have to select the module tree. Here I am selecting leads, for instance, as module tree. Now these are the available fields which are already there within this particular module. Now for a particular user, if any user doesn't want to show account description for lead in the report, then we have also enabled one functionality here which can be done from the studio. Go to studio, select lead, go to fields. Here it is account description. Once you click here, you will see that the default value for this field in the lead module is already yes as you can see here once we search a particular account description here it will show here as account description because from the studio we can see that the default value for this field is already set to yes now a particular user doesn't want to show this particular field within this module then they will click into no from the drop down and click on save once they click on save they just have to refresh the page once you refresh the page select again leads and from the module tree now search here for the particular field as account description here you will see that the account description from the field is not there because from the studio we have done the customization and we have disappeared that field now generate a report click on lead search first name last name put proper condition here from the first name itself we have also done one amazing feature here that is for a particular report if you do not want a particular value to come and shown in the report you can omit that from the operator so here first you have to select does not contain from the operator and select the value suppose for this particular condition i do not want the report which already has the name of test within it so i am excluding the name of the test for instance within this report i will select the parameter so whatever uh, entries i have already made for the name of test that would not appear within the generated report next if i want to uh, check any uh, date for a particular record that can also be done for that, I'll have to uh, select one field which contains date. 
so I have taken date created. Click here for is between. And from type we can select range. Here it helps us to understand and give the visibility of the custom date range selection. Now I want from May 23rd 2023 to May 2020 a particular report. Now my two conditions are already done and I have also checked the parameters for this. I will click on save to generate the report. Once I have generated report, it, it will show me the report like this way. Now here we can also schedule a report. Scheduling this report will enable its, future, uh, its users to understand that when they want to schedule the report. Now with the help of the scheduler, we can schedule the report and the report will be already sent to the recipient's email address once in a day. That time you can see it. So for the schedule report's name, I have uh, added the testing purpose, the report name. Status should has, always has to be inactive. Reports is test. You can schedule the time and date from here in this section. You can also uh, click into advance and you can advance uh, do the advanced setting from this. Here I have selected this for 12 a.m. Now I can add the email address for which I want to show this report. So for this report, the email address which I have already uh, selected, this recipients will already, uh, they are going to receive this particular report for the selected time which we have scheduled. Now email format functionality. Once you click into the checkbox, you will receive all the report within the email format which will be in text format and if you uncheck the box you will receive the report format in excel so here i am unchecking because i want the rep uh, here i am checking because i want this report to be in the email text format so once i click i will receive one particular email template like this in my email address within the scheduled date and time so for this functionality to work you have to always check the scheduler flow. You have to check if the scheduler is working on a particular time or not. As you can see that the scheduler is working and the previous data shows us done and success. So here it is queued because we have just created it. So it will take some time to update as interfill status is already given as as often as possible so while checking first you have to check the last successful run whether it is running or not so this is about the report uh, bb report tweaks thank you so much